When the Black Summer bushfires approached Jeff Aronson's off-grid home, he phoned his neighbours to warn them. During emergencies, we need that mobile service. We've gotten used to it, but it, we also need it. Because if the landline goes down, what else do you got? Living in the high country hamlet of Angler's Rest, two hours from a major town, the only phone network available is 3G. The signal is weak, even with the help of a booster. But as Telstra prepares to switch off its 3G network, locals are concerned they'll be left isolated. We want to be able to call up and get an ambulance or get the police or get, you know, somebody to go to put out a fire. Telecommunications companies say the switchover promises faster service, but experts warn some rural customers may be left out. And it will only be through customers uh, working out that they've got a connectivity problem and then talking to the telcos uh, that we're actually going to start to see these issues resolved. We're confident with all the work we're doing to actually um, ensure that the 4G network is equivalent to the, where the 3G reaches today. Customers could also be hampered after the switch if they have an old device which isn't compatible with 4G. Please talk to your family members about what phones they've got, what devices they've got. It's really important. Having a reliable signal in regional communities is crucial as our dependence on mobile phones intensifies. But in remote rural areas, staying connected can be a matter of life or death. So when motorbikes have accidents, which is multiple, I mean, we have a lot of accidents, then improving the communication is also paramount for those you know, people. On hold as Australia prepares to hang up on 3G. Natasha Shapova, ABC News.